Robin Amo. Seven and four run through the non-conference slate. The Rainbow Wahine volleyball team turns its attention to the Big West. Preseason pick to win a fourth straight conference title. Named league setter of the week four straight times to start the year. Hawaii's Kate Lang boasts a Big West best 10.98 assists per set. Good for 10th in the nation. Tonight, Big West play begins. The Roadrunners of Cal State Bakersfield and the Hawaii Rainbow Wahine. And with that, we welcome you inside Simplify Arena at Stan Sheriff Center. Kanoa Leahy sitting next to Chris McLaughlin. c -Mac, take us through the Kaiser Permanente keys to the match. Well, for Cal State Bakersfield, Nene's not a bird. She is Nene Hawkins, arguably the hardest worker for C Cal State uh, Bakersfield. A great setter, former Hawaii State volleyball champion, and needs a big night to beat the Rainbow Wahine. And for Hawaii, road lessons. Coach Robin told us this week it was a good road trip, and I think she'll... She'll uh, agree that it'll be a great road trip if Wahine prove they learned those lessons. One could argue that Nene is a bird because she's a road runner, but I digress <laughs> as we play volleyball here in Big West Conference play. Amber Igidi with the first swing for Hawaii, and then the high ball set goes to Samia Bakta on the opposite position. Coming right back the other way, it's Ava Palm, a fixture at the outside hitter spot for Cal State Bakersfield. Good up there. That was Nene Hawkins who came up with the dig and a free ball sent over the net, but barely. Here's Igidi a third time, and it drops in front of the diving attempt of Hawkins. So it took a while, but a point has been recorded here in this Big West opener for the Rainbow Wahine. The Hawaiian Financial FCU starting lineups scrolling at the bottom of your screen. We're going to have <laughs> a challenge on point number one. That's a little unusual. Well, the pancake save attempt by Nene Hawkins, the 5'8 freshman from Eva Beach out of Le Jardin Academy. True Frosh, team leader in assist, sprawling to try to make that save on the touch shot by IGD. And Giovanna Mello, head coach for the runners, is going to go ahead and challenge this. Mm, I think it was all floor. It looks like it touched the floor there, at least from that angle. The officiating crew, Randy Rubinall, the R1 across the way. Michelle Hayes, the R2, who's donning the headset and conducting this review. And then the line judges, Kevin Chun and Kerwin Stenstrom. Roadrunners coming in 5-8 and eight overall. They're 1-0 in the Big West Conference. They got their conference schedule underway in a grueling five-set victory over CSUN on Tuesday. And the call is going to stand. So it takes us a while. One point on the board. And we're getting ready to serve it up here for point number two. As you see the smile from Giovanna Mello in her 10th season. 378 career wins as a collegiate head coach. Also recorded over 250 wins in eight years as head coach at Western Nebraska Community College prior to taking the job at Bakersfield. High and away, here's the set to Riley Wagner, and the tip shot drops again. So Hawaii's first two points off of a little love and tenderness. I think they shouldn't get too used to that because uh, to beat the good teams in this league, you really got to bang away. So I suspect that the, the hard swings are coming up. Kendra Ham getting the start again at the opposite position with the serve. That tip didn't get deep enough. Saved by IGD from the back row. It's Kaylin Alexander, and she finds that deep corner. And Hawaii up 3-0 here to start set one. Right, used, to be, used to be a great setter, by the way, at Arizona State. She's happy that her former team is off to a 13-0 start this year. There's Palm down the line. Good dig there by Ham. Outside is Wagner blocked. Oh, the cover by Talia Edmonds. Alexander from the back row and the save by the libero for the runners, Grace Moss. 
Another advantage here for Hawaii. They go to IGD in the middle. The block sent it back. Hawaii's still with it. Here's Wagner down the line on one knee. Moss the save. Right side. It's Bakta off the block. Got a long rally here. They run the slide to IGD, and she ends it with a thunderous smackdown. That was a well-run transition play by Kate Lang. She had antenna to antenna covered for choices. I think she set the right person. What do you think, Kanoa? Yeah, that's uh, usually the deal when you look the way of Amber Igidi, Robin Amo, in her sixth season, seventh year overall top this program. Three ball, a little bit of disorientation on the Hawaii side, and that allows Bakersfield to play it back. The left hand put down by Sophie Bertotti Matoyer, 6'1 junior from Spokane, Washington. Second year with Bakersfield but spent two years prior to Seattle U. And they're gonna actually call a miss hit against the Roadrunners in the midst of that play. And so uh, it's still Hawaii point and still Hawaii serve. Locked up, locked back. Five nothing Hawaii to start this first set. Palm got slowed down by the block. Wagner, the big swing, good up there by Moss over the net. And Igidi followed through, commits the net violation, and Bakersfield gets the point. Amber just so hungry, then you can see the adrenaline flowing through her veins. She rarely makes this error of following through, but that time, pretty obvious. So Hawaii scores the first five, and then gifts one to Bakersfield. And now Grace Moss, another true frosh on the floor. At 17 digs the other night in the win over CSUN with the serve, and Hawaii out of system. And they're gonna have to send a free ball over. Hawkins going outside, nice set to Palm. And you see some of the strength in the hands of Nene Hawkins. Uh, she set some nectar for the 6'1 junior outside, Ava Palm, who is from right there in Bakersfield, California. It's been a couple years at UTEP. Now transferred back to her hometown. Oh, Edwards at the last moment using two hands on that serve received. Wagner, that was heavy handed, but the dig by Moss. Palm by the block. There's Edmonds on the save. Igidi, awkward angle on the set, but she made it work anyway. That was gutsy from the now four time setter of the week to start this season, Kate Lang. I, I like the way she took a chance there from the eight or nine foot line and fired it to Amber. Look at that kill percentage for Amber on the year 401. That's incredible. Yeah, that's mind blowing. 3.7 kills per set. Middlesex goes to Brecklin pulling, will be played back. Here's Alexander. The up there by Moss and a great chase down on the second touch, Sarah Martin. Here's Igini. And she buries it again, Amber with four kills. Tell you what, you know, when in transition, a boy gets a free ball and Igini's up there, even with two blockers like that, she manages a way to find a way to get around, over, or through those two-man blocks. You Even three-man. We've seen three-man blocks this year. You saw the numbers that she had against Florida State. I mean, just when you think you saw everything that Amber Igidi has to offer, she has elevated her game once more here in this, her final campaign. Florida State, yeah, she had 462, big number. Hawaii coming back from that road swing, going to Fort Worth, Texas. How about losing in the opener to TCU, but then turning it around and beating Western Carolina and actually dominating Florida State in pretty significant fashion. That was unbelievable. How about our numbers against Western Carolina? 21 kills, one error, hit 625. Yeah. That's Palm from the opposite position, dug up by Wagner, tight to the net, little joust above the tape. Now they go middle, and it's pulling, dug up by Igidi. D set goes to Ham, sliding save there by Sarah Martin. Right side, it's Palm again, diving save, Ham to the net, and we're gonna get an interference call against Bakersfield. Ball was still on the Hawaii side, but Brecklin pulling the red shirt frog from Highlands Ranch, Colorado, couldn't quite help herself. Kate Lang did a pretty good job. The last two plays have been 
near overpasses and she goes up and one of them she tried to set it there the other one she actually blocked the ball it was overpassed Aziti sends it out to the point to Bakersfield let's talk a little about Kate Lang and the fact that yes she has won four straight <laughs> Big West setter of the week awards to start this season you can rewind it back to the last week of the regular season last year and it would be five straight setter of the week awards that's right and she's averaging over 10 assists per set that's in the top 10 in the country, I believe. She's having quite the year in the assist department, that's for sure. Goes behind the head there to Kennedy Evans, who just entered the match. Two hands saved there by Talia Edmonds. How did the work by Grace Moss in that back row, conjuring up the save there, the block by Alexander, and the runners run out of room. And Hawaii gets the point. And you can give the roof to Kaylin Alexander. There's one area in which I know Hawaii wants to improve. They, that, that first night against TCU, they got out blocked 16 to 6. So I know Robin Mo would love to see her team block better tonight. Pulling tried to push it with the left hand, but sends it out. And Hawaii up 11 to 4. Yeah, Hawaii pretty strong in some other categories in Big West play. Tops among Big West teams in kills and assists. But they want to up those blocks numbers. Right now, they're up by seven. University of Hawaii Sport. Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah. It Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah. It Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah. It Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah. It Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah, it is for our economy ultimate passengers who paid extra. I'll just have water. Okay, sure. Cash or card. For water? Well, at AT&T, when we offer you our best iPhone deals, we guarantee it. Even on the new iPhone 15 Pro, made with titanium. Not that you don't keep your word, it's just that you haven't. What? Only AT&T gives everyone our best deals on any iPhone with any popular plan. Guaranteed. Get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Football's here, you know what that means. More flame grill beef from Burger King. Celebrate with us, cheer on your team. Y'all know this part, come on, let's sing. BK, have it your way. The Warriors and the Aggies face off at Clarence TC Ching Field. Order it today on Spectrum Sports Pay Per View. Welcome back. Time now for the Hawaii Honda Dealers Highlight Reel. And we're looking at Amber Ijidi. She seems to be a highlight reel each and every night. And she's off to a wonderful start again in this match. She does a you know, she's getting those 31 sets in the, the gap between the middle at attack and the left side attack. And then she runs all the way out to the other antenna, hits the slide, so showing her versatility. And oh, there she is. Oh, she sees the camera too. She can. She can do a little showmanship. You go, Amber. One thing we've learned about Amber over her career is just how camera shy she really is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good looking bump set there to Paige Dugan, but the dig there by Talia Edmonds, and then it's Kennedy Evans dug up back over the net. Evans a second time, dug up again by Ella Ertel Tova. She's the other setter on the roster. And now Ham through the block and down. Kendra Ham, six foot senior from San Diego, California. Had a double double against Western Carolina on the road trip. 12 kills, 11 digs. Three straight double digit dig performances. And she has earned her way into securing that starting spot at the moment at that opposite position, C Mac. Yeah, one, and she knows the one thing she needs to improve is her kill percentage. Uh, that's got to be up around 200, 250 every night consistently, and then she'll secure that spot. Because we know she's going to pass well, and she's going to dig a lot of balls. And Robin Amo loves both those qualities in her. Hawaii has scored four in a row. Kate Lang, tough serve. And then the set going to no man's land. So a free chance here for Hawaii. High and away, it's Alexander giving it a rip for her second kill, and Hawaii's up 10. Pass so good in transition there that the middle blocker on Bakersfield's side just had to stay with Kennedy Evans and left. You know, you can't leave Kennedy Alexander all alone out there. He's going to hurt somebody. 
Middle set and going off Evans and down is Brecklin pulling. Gave that one a little extra pump. 13 kills. Yeah, 233, five blocks and three aces against CSUN on Tuesday. You see the total block numbers on the season. She's the team leader in that category. Look at she cut the ball back across her body that time. So good, good action. Oh, Evans, a little vengeance there as she goes on the offensive. And Hawaii back up 10. And Wahine, of course, preseason pick to finish first in the Big West Conference, received 10 of 11 first place votes. Santa Barbara came in second in that poll for what it's worth, Long Beach State third. Yeah, Bakersfield, they were preseason pick to finish eighth in the conference. Bakersfield got off to a pretty strong start this season, went 3-0 and the opening weekend, only to go 1-8 and over their next nine matches until that victory on Tuesday against CSUN. It's just been that kind of season so far for Giovanna Mello, has a lot of youth on the squad, no seniors on this roster, and she has had to mix and match rotations at a pretty high frequency. As you said earlier, no seniors in the squad at all. And it's going to be a point for the runner is going to be a back row of violation against Hawaii as Kate Lang went up for a 50-50 ball. The other thing, like you said, Kanoa, the uncertainty of not knowing whether you're going to start or not, that can, that can cause some problems with the team if you're not, uh, you don't know how much you're going to play or where you're going to play. There's Hawkins. Ooh, that went awfully close. Tough server, Nene Hawkins. Was an early commit to this Bakersfield squad. Coach Mello absolutely loves her work ethic. Uh, she had a great career at Les Jardins, winning the Division II state title in 2022. They went 17-0 through league play that year. As you see, Paula Gershing getting some run here for Hawaii and getting some run early, c -Mac. Yeah, We usually see her in the third set when, when Hawaii's got the, the match in hand. Instead, we're seeing her early. This is a good sign for her. And that one is going to be a Hawaii point. I'm going to say that that didn't get over the spine. And Paige Dugan swing. So Hawaii up 17, serving seven. And yeah, Paula Gershing, it was so hard through non-conference play because you had those multiple match tournaments, not a lot of time in the practice gym. She was a little dinged up going into the opening weekend. So Robin said we just weren't able to work the skills and, and Gershing wasn't really able to be on the practice floor enough for us to be able to really get into a position where we were comfortable putting her in the rotation early. She said, this week of practice has been a gift because they were able to work more of those skills. And for a person like Paula Gershing, she was able to get a little more prepared to maybe contribute here in a, a more overt fashion. Exactly, and at 6-2, you can't, you can't ignore and keep that person on the bench for too long. 6-2 with international experience playing for Germany, the junior national team. So I think she's really going to contribute at some point here in a big way during this season. Yeah, the decorated stint at Youngstown State before transferring here to Hawaii. Couldn't put it down on that, the dig by Grace Moss. And then a dig along the back line by Alexander on what could have been an out ball. Here's Gershing going to have to time it. Tough angle. Gave it a good run. Moss again to save. Here's Ava Palm off the block. Alexander the dig. Amber Igedi in the middle. Hammers it home. Going on too long. There's one way to kind of end it. You know what it is, Kanoa? I'll give you one guess. Uh, AI? AI. Said Amber. Amber the hammer. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right, GD up to five kills, hitting 444. It's another day at the office here so far. Well, Toddy Matoyer is dug up by Edmonds. Alexander with a blasty blast from the back row. How good has Kalen Alexander? couple of weeks. He's played some great volleyball, that's for sure. And also, I like about that, Kanoa, that remind me of the USC series where Kate Lang, I thought, set her best matches of the year. She set a, bat, a lot of back row attacks and made Hawaii's offense very difficult to defend. Now we have another early entrant into the match. Jackie Matias, redshirt freshman out of Punahou. And she delivers an ace. Welcome to the show. And a timeout by Cal State Bakersfield. Hawaii up a cool dozen here in set one. 
Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah, it is for our economy ultimate passengers who paid extra. I'll just have water. Okay, sure. Cash or card? For water? Well, at AT&T, when we offer you our best iPhone deals, we guarantee it. Even on the new iPhone 15 Pro, made with titanium. Not that you don't keep your word, it's just that you haven't. What? Only AT&T gives everyone our best deals on any iPhone with any popular phone. Guaranteed. Get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Welcome to life in the new open web, where the future arrives daily and creativity and commerce thrive. Viant is pioneering a new approach to media, where third-party cookies are cleared from the cache of history and emerging channels open doors to new customers, creating a world where the future is wide open and the possibilities endless. Viant, built for the new open web. Built for now. Here's where legends are born. And every match is a spectacle. Celebration like no other. For the love of football. For the love of La Liga. Don't miss a second of the action. Watch Spectrum Sports on the go. The Spectrum News app has the local sports you love and the news and weather that matter most to you. You can download today on the App Store or Google Play. All Lady Bows here in this first frame so far up 20 to 8. And Jackie Matias with the serve and forces an overpass. Tali Hawkes also on the floor now for Hawaii. And off the floor with another smash is Amber Igidi getting up there into high altitude. How about these numbers so far? Hawaii with nine, 19 big so far in one set. That's amazing. Oh, you're fast, yeah. Ava Palm, little avoidance swing, and avoided the block, but also missed the playing surface. So another point for Hawaii. 22 almost, serving eight. All those digs by Hawaii, I think, right now are frustrating the, the Bakersfield attackers. And so they're hitting those balls that they really shouldn't be hitting. Should be challenging the block a little more like that. Hawkins goes the other way. Palm is blocked. Good cover there by Moss. Hawkins falling to the floor with the bump set. And now Hawaii playing it back. Matias goes to Hawkins off the block. Tally Hawkins getting in on the action. Has seen some of her playing time wane here over the last week or so. But her enthusiasm and energy, according to head coach Robin Almo, never wanes. We see that swing right there. A great dig by Kim and Alexander to keep the rally alive. And the save there by Hawkins. Here's the D set to Alexander. And she's got the Midas touch right now. Four kills, no errors for Kalen. And it is a Loha ball for Hawaii in set one. They have scored seven straight points. Alexander with seven digs already here in the first set. She averages like two or three digs per set. She's got five straight double doubles to her credit. And it's going to be a violation against Bakersfield. Hawaii closes the first frame on an 8-0 run, and they take it swiftly, 25-8. Rainbow Wahine hit darn near 400. They'll swap sides, set two coming up. Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah, it is for our economy ultimate passengers who paid extra. I'll just have water. Okay, sure. Cash or card? For water? Well, at AT&T, when we offer you our best iPhone deals, we guarantee it. Even on the new iPhone 15 Pro, made with titanium. Not that you don't keep your word, it's just that you haven't. What? Only AT&T gives everyone our best deals on any iPhone with any popular phone. Guaranteed. Get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Welcome to life in the new open web, where innovation keeps pace with imagination and the future arrives daily. Viant is pioneering a new approach to media, combining AI with human insight, creating new ways to reach customers and new standards of measurement, both on and offline. Viant, built for the new open web, built for now. Go. 
we don't just have everything. We have your thing. On the next big day. Ready? Go. The Little League World Series champions! Chris Vaughn telling his son that he was being drafted. You want to come to work with me next week? Makes it so magical. Deuce Vaughn in the end zone! Here you know what that means More flame grill beef from Burger King Celebrate with us, cheer on your team Y'all know this part, come on, let's sing BK, have it your way The moment is here The MLB Wildcard Series on the networks of ESPN Toy Story Fun Day Football Sunday, October 1st on ESPN Plus Presented by Long's Drugs, the number is five, and that's the number of players with double-digit digs in Hawaii's three-set victory over Florida State. 67 total digs by the Rainbow Wahine. That's 22.3 digs per set in that match. And Kalen Alexander, who has been a digging machine here as of late, we mentioned a five-match double-double streak. Had a career-high 21 kills in the four-set loss to TCU, but she's off and running again here tonight, C-Mac. She really looks sharp. First, I love her back row attack. She's snapping the ball high, putting a lot of top spin on it, keeping the ball inside the court. Really playing some good volleyball. But the number of digs, 20 digs. They normally average about 14 digs per set. Tonight, though, 20 digs in the first set. You know, against Florida State, I just found out before the end, Kaleo Baxter told me that one of the ways they beat Florida State, a really, really good team, by the way, number one kill percentage in the country, one of the ways they beat them was they just outdug them, made the rally so long that Florida State actually got tired. That's amazing. It's a great tribute to the Hawaii defense and how defense can sometimes win games. And you know Robin Amo loves that. The ball does not touch the ground. You can't give up a point. Ball touched the ground off the palm of Amber Igedi, which has happened at a high frequency so far in this match. And she now has eight put downs. And what are you seeing from Hawaii here so far? This really looks Shabu! smooth. You know, they don't see any overpasses when they get a free ball. They don't overpass it. They're putting it right on the money so that Kate Lang can set four different players. And this looks sharp. Good looking back set there by Hawkins to Samia Bakta, but she hits it long. We mentioned no seniors on this Bakersfield squad. Six juniors, two sophomores, and six freshmen. They had eight returnees from a team that went 7-25 and 25 last year, including 4-16 and 16 in conference play. They added six newcomers to the fray. And so, as you would expect, things just a little inconsistent in that regard. But one of the more consistent factors has been Ava Palm. Great name, by the way, for an outside hitter. 6'1", junior from Bakersfield, California. You mentioned her time at UTEP. Her dad, Vance, also a former basketball player for the runners. I love that swing there by Ava. She had a good approach. And she worked the ball off the outside hand of the outside blocker. Smooth shot. It's Wagner from off the floor. Punched save there by Sarah Martin. And Palm, good swing. The dig by Alexander. Lang has to chase it out of the front row. And then Alexander, what a shot from behind the line. That was a nasty angle she took. I think Bakersfield was expecting a bump over and a free ball. Instead, what they got was typical Alexander. She loves to attack when the other team least expects it. Put a little English on that thing. Hawaii up 3-1. Backside set. Bakta cross court. And out. No touch up front. And that's going to be a point for Hawaii. Giovanna Mello staring up at Randy Rubinall. And I'm not sure if she was convinced there was a touch or that was in, but it doesn't look like she's going to be challenging anything. I sure hope, I sure hope Alpharetta, Georgia is watching tonight. Don't you think, Kanoa? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. There are at least a few individuals over there that are taking in the action. And we want to say aloha to them if they are. That's a good looking stuff. Samia Bakta, third year with the program out of Gilbert, Arizona. She got all of that. That was a really good looking box. She turned her right hand into the court. Didn't get tooled. Wagner trying to wipe it off that outside hand, but Bakta would have none of it. 
And now Ella Ertel Tova, we mentioned the other setter for Bakersfield. Played alongside her older sister, Emma, who was a middle blocker and opposite last year. They also played together at FIU, originally from Slovakia. She is back to serve. And Naomi Chankumi, 5'11 sophomore from Houston, into the match for the first time for Bakersfield. Middle set, that's pulling. And that was a good looking connection there. Ertel Tova to pulling, who mashed it. Lord Runners. A little momentum going now. Two great plays in a row. Lang going to run the slide to Igidi. Moss with the layout save. And then that one smacked straight down to the floor by Dunning. Uh, by pulling, I should say. And we are tied for the first time here in set two. So you're right, some signs of life here from the Roadrunners. Here come the Roadrunners, beep, beep. <laughs> Alexander hits it long, and Bakersfield leads for the first time. They've scored four straight. And it has been Ertel Tova from Zelina, Slovakia. Behind the line serving here on this run. Another good serve. Alexander from a standing position with the swing. Chankumi is blocked back and roofed. Saying, uh-uh, was Igidi jumping up next to Wagner. The two players that came into this program together, they will be leaving together as well. Uh, they described their friendship as the best of friends, and they connected right there to put up the wall. dug up a little joust above the tape and that one nearly hits the scoreboard above alexander couldn't put it down and then pulling is blocked lang outside here's alexander tools the block for her sixth kill and hawaii back in front nice set from lang but but uh alexander really did a nice job of attacking that split block, they just couldn't get out there in time because so much attention is being paid to Amber Igedi in the middle. 3.44 kills per set for Alexander, hitting above 200 here coming into this match. And then she got some fingerprints on that one alongside Amber Igedi. Yes, and the Mano Roofing Company putting together a couple of stuffs here in this second frame. And this is exactly what Robin Amo wants to see. Better blocking this weekend. Seven serving five. One hand set goes over the net and then hoping to usher that one down was pulling. She was able to extend with the left hand and finish the deal. Pretty alert play that time by the road runners. Keeping that ball alive right on the 50-50 mark above the net. Brooklyn pulling must feel good for her. Played in just three sets last year because of injury. As Igedi, once again, with the lumber. She has nine kills. So getting back to Brecklin pulling. Three sets last year earned medical hardship after a season-ending injury. And she got off to an incredible start in the opener this year where she had 13 kills on 15 attempts and no errors against Eastern Washington. Hit a runner record 867 <laughs> for a single match. Wow. Chankumi blocked back. Middle set, that's pulling. Chankumi the cover. And the push dink that time by Dugan is dug up. Here's Lang, high and away. Alexander, deep corner and in. How about seven kills already to go along with eight digs already for Kaylin Alexander? You think she's going to get a double double? I think so. She could get it in two sets. Hitting 462 tonight. So far, Hawaii with just three hitting errors in the match. Chankumi, nice little improv that time to work it off the block. 
And she was invited at one time to the Cameroon national team. Had to turn it down because of a some sort of a conflict, but her dad you know, did play for the Cameroon national team. Plus, he played for Cal Baptist, so she's got some volleyball in her blood, her DNA. Serve goes long there by Pullen. So Hawaii up three here in set two. And now Kate Lang with the serve. And the pass goes over the net, and easy pickings for Kennedy Evans. Mahalo Nui lost. Tough serve by Lang to force that overpass. Evans did a nice job of staying out of the net. A strong performance against Florida State as well. One of the better performances overall by this Hawaii team this season. And that's going to be a mishandle called against Bakersfield. And Hawaii gets the freebie. They're up a handful now. And starting to create some space. Eight two run here for Hawaii. Oh, look at that serve. Oh, may have been an out ball played by Edmonds. Alexander couldn't finish it off the block. Now a little joust up there. No, it's pushed down by Bertotti Matoyer. And that time Talia Edmonds on what was likely going to be an out ball in a Hawaii point. Little indecision there, decided to uh, err on the side of caution. Yeah, and coaches generally will tell their players, err on the side of caution. If you think it's going to be close to the line, go to, in almost 50 50 balls, you're not sure, go ahead and take it. Jump serve by Hawkins goes into the twine. What have you thought of Nene Hawkins here so far and what you've seen in this conference opener for Hawaii? I like her. She's a, she's a nice set. She's got some good release with her hands. Gets her feet to the ball pretty well. Runs a pretty diverse offense. Gets the middles involved. Hustles to the ball like that. Gets her hands on it rather than bumps at it. Here's Wagner. Oh, wow, that had some smoke trailing off of it. Riley Wagner, just her second kill on nine swings. She has five double-doubles this year. 2.79 kills per set on the season. And an ace by Kaylin Alexander. Hawaii gets to 15 first in the second. Once again, with some breathing room. Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah, it is for our economy ultimate passengers who paid extra. I'll just have water. Okay, sure. Cash or card. For water? Well, at AT&T, when we offer you our best iPhone deals, we guarantee it. Even on the new iPhone 15 Pro, made with titanium. Not that you don't keep your word, it's just that you haven't. What? Only AT&T gives everyone our best deals on any iPhone with any popular plan. Guaranteed. Get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Welcome to life in the new open web, where the future arrives daily and creativity and commerce thrive. Viant is pioneering a new approach to media, where third-party cookies are cleared from the cache of history and emerging channels open doors to new customers, creating a world where the future is wide open and the possibilities endless. Viant, built for the new open web. Built for now. To help Jersey Mike's tell everyone all about Shore Points, we hired magician Justin Willman to spread the word. Adding chips and drinks to your order just got you closer to free sub. Oh, thanks. Uh, oh, this one's mine. Customer reactions have been mixed. Don't forget this. Oh, good call. Thanks. Ooh. Oh. Maybe we should have just bought a billboard. Download the My Mike's app and magically earn rewards towards free subs with every sub, sip, and chip you purchase. Let's check out tonight's Hyundai head-to-head -head stat line. Well, the kill percentages tells the story here, C-Mac. These are the match numbers. But what you're hitting 404, Bakersfield still in the negatives. 10 kills, 12 errors. You never want to have your errors outnumber your kills, by the way. Just, just informing you. Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> they run the slide here to Bertotti Matoya. Dug up by Edmonds. Oh, against the green set. Kendra Hand goes off the block. Hawkins, a little back row set to Palm. 
Oh, what a one-handed up there by Lang. Wagner from off the court went outside the pin. I like the aggressive swing by Lang. Just a, just a little bit too aggressive, but I, I never like it when players, here's a nice dig by Lang, but I never like it when players just sort of bump the ball over on that third play. I'd rather they go up and at least make a, take a swing at it. That's going to be an out serve there by Sarah Martin. So Paula Gershing coming back into the match here for Hawaii. She replaces Riley Wagner and now Talia Edmonds to serve. Edmonds, the team leader in digs, also eight aces on the season coming in. Almost got another one there. Palm trying to time the high bump set goes off the block and down. I really like the way Palm does a step close, goes up and, and drives hard on her approach and then step close and just powers up. Takes a good swing every time, whether it's life set, left side or right. She bangs away. Here's like GDO, that set was a little low, but she gets her own cover. That set a little higher, she's blocked again. Free chance here for the runners. They go middle, it's pulling, tip shot, pinballed around. Alexander from the back row sends it out. And a good looking fight that time by Bakersfield in that sequence earns a fist pump from their head coach, Giovanna Mello. The Roadrunners that time playing some scrappy defense, keeping the ball alive and forcing Hawaii to make some awkward plays. Mello, Mello, she's a good coach. She's, she's really done a good job, I think, there. Don't you think, Cano? Native of Brazil, certainly has uh, put together quite the resume, both as a player and as a coach. Knows that this is always a tough challenge, flying all the way out to the islands, taking on a Hawaii team. That certainly has been battle tested through the non-conference phase of the season. Here's Gershing. Now that's the Paula Gershing I've been waiting to see. I think I'm sure look how happy she is. You get, this is the first thing she's gotten a good set, split block, and she gets to just hammer it home. I think some of the fans were anxious to see that as well. That was a bit of a uh, uproarious reaction to that kill, the first kill of the match for Gershing. What a dig by Edmonds back over the net. Backside, it's Bakta a second time. Off the block, save Lang. Here's Gershing off the block. Lang puts it over. Tried to catch him off guard, but Moss with the reaction. Palm through the block. The dig by Alexander, and what a dig it is. And IGD finishes the deal. Alexander put that dig right where Kate Lang could do anything she wanted to with it. Say, Alexander's become such a great defender. No longer does she need to be subbed out of the back row. She's more than holds her own in the back row, and she's a great attacker out of the back row. And oh, IG, um, she's got just 10 kills so far. <laughs> oh, hum. And pulling, able to plug it through that IGD block. How does that change the dynamic of this Hawaii team that Kaylin Alexander can go six rotations through? Tremendously. It offers another attacker out of the back row, which, which diversifies the offense, makes it Hawaii much more difficult to scout and play against. Tally Hawkes also out on the floor, along with Matias for Hawaii. Here's Alexander from the back row. Oh, she got way up in the air. Pretty fresh there, not like coming off a three-game road trip. She looked like she's. Fresh as a daisy there, didn't she? Showing some extra bunnies on this one. Look at this. Broad jumps, and then just destroys that set from Matias. Served by Gershing, though, goes into the twine. So maybe some valuable playing time here, valuable opportunity for several Rainbow Wahine. Trying to get Tali Hakas a little bit back in rhythm. Also, Matias getting some time, Gershing getting some time as Sydney Dunning, six foot freshman outside hitter on the floor for Bakersfield. Alexander going high hands. 
Backside, Chan Kumi, they're gonna call the mishandle on the set by Ertel Tova. And so Hawaii gets the free point and they get to the 20 mark first. And now for the first time, we get to see Stella Adami, 5'11 freshman from Papillion, Nebraska. A decorated multiple time state champ in high school. As Hawkins will have to two hand it over. A three chance here for Hawaii. Middle, it's Evans. One hand saved by Moss. How did she do that? Chan Kumi off the block. And IGD came diving in, trying to save it, but couldn't do so. Great dig by Moss, they're trying to keep that rally alive. I thought that ball was gonna be going down, but Greg stuck an arm out and kept the rally alive. Point, World Runners. So Stella Damey getting some time here. 2023 graduate of Papillion, La Vista South High School, Max Prep All-American. Competed in the USA Volleyball National Team Development Program. We mentioned decorated, about as decorated as you can be as a prep prospect. As the ace is dealt out of the deck by Breckman pulling. And Bakersfield within a handful. Prompts a timeout from Robin Amo. We'll take a break as well. Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah, it is for our economy ultimate passengers who paid extra. I'll just have water. Okay, sure. Cash or card. For water? Well, at AT&T, when we offer you our best iPhone deals, we guarantee it. Even on the new iPhone 15 Pro, made with titanium. Not that you don't keep your word, it's just that you haven't. What? Only AT&T gives everyone our best deals on any iPhone with any popular plan. Guaranteed. Get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Welcome to life in the new open web, where innovation keeps pace with imagination and the future arrives daily. Viant is pioneering a new approach to media, combining AI with human insight, creating new ways to reach customers and new standards of measurement, both on and offline. Viant, built for the new open web, built for now. taking on New Mexico State, looking to avenge uh, what was a difficult loss in Las Cruces last season. Our coverage on Spectrum Sports pay-per-view begins at 5.15. Final non-conference game of the season for the UH football team as they will jet off to Las Vegas next week. Spectrum Sports will follow them there as well. But that should be a good game tomorrow, Hawaii and New Mexico State. Out serve out of the timeout gives Hawaii the point. They're up a half dozen here, and Kate Lang checking back in, and she retreats back to serve. High ball bump set. Sydney Dunning. That was forceful. We saw her cracking the ball in warm-ups prior to the match. Uh, she was yeah, drawing some moves and awes with some of her swings in the pregame. She splits the uprights. It was right between the two blockers. Great shot. Coached by her mom, Rachel, in high school. Lamar High School. Holds a high school career record for kills, 1,500. And digs, 1,000. Not too shabby. Here's Evans off the block and down. Kennedy Evans with three kills. Hawaii coming back down to earth a little bit hitting percentage wise in this second frame hitting 259 and how about Bakersfield a little bounce back hitting 207 
after struggling mightily in that first set. And here is Stella Damey to serve. Pretty good serve at that. High and away it goes to Dunning off the block. And what a play by a Damey who gets the kill. It's called a big kill. My goodness gracious. Hawaii would not let it touch the Terraflex. And Stella Damey riles him up. What a great play this is. Ball about six inches off the floor, and the Damey is the last one to touch it. It goes down, and then the team absolutely mobs her. That is terrific. Great second touch there. I believe that was Kendra Ham who was able to keep that sequence alive, setting up the um, unorthodox first career kill for Stella Damey. Yeah. All right, let's send it over to Ryan. What's up? Hey, thanks, Kono. Well, what might have been better than that dig kill was the reaction of the Hawaii bench. I mean, they absolutely went crazy. Amber Ajidi falling to the floor in celebration. These players really happy for Stella and her first dig kill. Uh, on the Roadrunners sideline, they're really just trying to calm the nerves. They continue to preach to their team. The coaching staff is just telling them, hey, this is not our style. This is not who we are. We have nothing to lose here. They want their players to take quality swings not to be afraid of this Hawaii block and to go out swinging aggressively. Back over to you guys. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Meanwhile, the mentality on the Hawaii side, Robin Amo talked about it at length this week. He said, hey, look, I know that our players are going to get up for those teams that are considered the upper echelon of the Big West Conference. She says, hey, look, we go through this non-conference slate of name brand opponents. It's easy for the players to get up for that. She says, the matches that worry me are the ones against the teams that are supposedly the lower half of the conference. Uh, so far, what do you think about how Hawaii has come out? Oh, they've done an amazing job, and Robin Amo has given some some bench players and B-side players some quality time. Not wipe-up time, but quality time. And they're coming through, playing quite well for her. A couple of quality swings there by Sydney Dunning as she gets another kill. That'll be 17 serving 23, and Sarah Martin checking back in. 5A junior from Phoenix, Arizona, third year with the Bakersfield program. Also a member of the beach program the last two years. A Damey, oh, that's a tough pass. One hand set, and Lang sent it a little too far out. Tough serve to handle. A Damey almost put it on the money. That was a really tough serve. Sarah Martin, one of the, one of the leaders, even though she's uh, a junior, not a senior, but she's one of the ones who's quiet leaders. High ball bump set. Here's Gershing off the block and down. So Paula Gershing with a couple of kills. Great effort there by Nene Hawkins to no avail. And it's Aloha ball for Hawaii here in the second. Perhaps a glimpse into the future a little bit right now in this second set, C Mac. Absolutely. All the young ones out there. Edmonds with the serve, bump set. Here's Palm, punches it over the net. Good save there by Gershing. Middle set, IGD. Did she get a touch? No touch. It goes long. Point for Bakersfield. Robin Almo will challenge. And she is going to suggest that there was, in fact, a touch. Seems like pretty common sense time to issue the challenge, right? Not that much to lose under these circumstances, and possibly. Uh, if a touch is seen here, uh, you close out the second frame. Exactly. We'll, we'll see. I, I, these are also the toughest ones to call. <laughs> yeah, that's the line, true. The line calls are really not that much of a problem. It's the touches at the net where you're looking for a finger that's going to be bent back just a little bit. We'll see if this first look gives us any indication at all. Hmm, hard to tell if there's a finger bent back or not. Maybe this one will show. Mm, I don't know. Mm, 
know if Bakta got a piece of that or not. With your left hand right there, no. I don't think so, I think it's not enough, not enough evidence. Let's show something right there. How can you judge something on a blur? <laughs> when it's a blur, come on, what do you do? That's what's uh, probably going through the mind of Michelle Hayes right now. Yeah. She's the R2 taking a look at this thing. She even had the, she even had the, uh, the crew in the truck freeze it right there at the blur to see if any fingers were bent down. She's being very thorough, but I don't think there's enough evidence there to overturn that call. The crowd being urged by the video screen above to increase the noise here in the arena, and they oblige. Meanwhile, play is paused here for this review. That might be the best look right there, and, and I don't think it is strong evidence that uh, there was a touch by Bakta. It was a no-touch call, so that's obviously one of the most important factors here is you need conclusive evidence to overturn the call. And Michelle Hayes taking an awful long look at several angles to try to make sure that whatever judgment is made is the correct one. Yeah. And here we go. I'm gonna predict no change, no reversal. After review, call stands. Call stands. So we've seen a failed challenge from either side here so far in this match. So each coach with one challenge remaining? Correct. Unless we go five. Let me get another jack. Also correct. <laughs> 19 serving, 24 remains Aloha ball for Hawaii. Good pass there, Edmonds. Here's IGD, can't finish the deal. Hawkins with the save. Quick spring by Palm. And Ava Palm keeping Bakersfield alive here in the second. Well, I love Ava Palm's quality swings that she's taking. Hitting high and hard, going for the high hands, or she goes off the outside blockers, outside hand, making some smart shots. It's still a Aloha ball. Damey got a little handcuffed there on that serve. Here's Gershing, and she got the touch. And a little too hot to handle for Sarah Martin in the back row. And Paula Gershing, three kills, no errors. And she puts the finishing touches on a set two victory for Hawaii, 25-20. So in the Big West Conference opener for the Rainbow Wahine, the home team will have a chance to crack open the broom closet. University of Hawaii. Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah, it is for our economy ultimate passengers who paid extra. I'll just have water. Okay, sure. Cash or card? For water? Well, at AT&T, when we offer you our best iPhone deals, we guarantee it. Even on the new iPhone 15 Pro, made with titanium. Not that you don't keep your word, it's just that you haven't. What? Only AT&T gives everyone our best deals on any iPhone with any popular phone. Guaranteed. Get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Welcome to the new open web, where emerging channels like CTV, digital audio, and in-game open doors to new customers, so creativity and commerce thrive. Viant, built for the new open web. Built for now. GEICO makes it easy to bundle your home and car insurance. In fact, it's so easy. <laughs> it reminds me of a joke my mate told me. <laughs> wow, they really like that one. GEICO. The Falcons and Jaguars are playing Sunday, October 1st at 9.30 a.m. Eastern in London. And they're also playing in Andy's room? That's right, it's the NFL like you've never seen it before. The live game will transform into the world of Toy Story in real time. You'll see the same action that's happening on the field, but in a whole new way. Join Buzz, Woody, and all their friends Sunday, October 1st at 9.30 a.m. on ESPN+. Series champions! Critics are calling the creator the best film of the year. Take care of her. I promise. It is a cinematic masterpiece. Our mission is to terminate the weapon Alpha O. They're coming to get me. I'm getting you out of this. It's the best sci-fi film in the past decade. 
see this film on the biggest screen possible. Seatbelts. The Creator. Ready PG-13. Friday. Get tickets now. Mission here at Simplify Arena Stan Sheriff Center. Conference opener for the Rainbow Wahine. And they're doing pretty well to this point. Very one-sided opening set and a much more competitive second. When we come back, the serve to start set number three. With the Pizza Hut Big Dinner Box, however you want to... Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah, it is for our economy ultimate passengers who paid extra. I'll just have water. Okay, sure. Cash or card. For water? Well, at AT&T, when we offer you our best iPhone deals, we guarantee it. Even on the new iPhone 15 Pro, made with titanium. Not that you don't keep your word, it's just that you have it. What? Only AT&T gives everyone our best deals on any iPhone with any popular plan. Guaranteed. Get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Welcome to the new open web, where combining both offline and online measurement is the new standard, so you can see the full impact of your media spend. Viant. Built for the new open web. Built for now. Ready? Go. I'm coming out with a bang. We don't just have everything. We have your thing. On the next big day. Ready? Go. Football's here, you know what that means. More flame grill beef from Burger King. Celebrate with us, cheer on your team. Y'all know this part, come on, let's sing. BK, have it your way. From Ancelotti and Simeone to Griezmann and Bellingham. He's at it again! Chief Elliott! El Verdi de Madrid. Atlético de Madrid, Real Madrid, Sunday on ESPN+. Plus. From the intensity of the pitch in to the beauty of the tiki-taka. From city rivals to El Clásico. To Here's where legends are born. And every match is a Match statistics, Hawaii taking care of business here so far, C-Mac. Yeah, especially the kill percentage here. Look at that, 369 to 075, and blocking is improving, 3-1. Ace was there, is about even. But how about the performance of Kalen Alexander with eight kills and nine digs, and Amber Igedi with 10 kills, one air, hitting 500. So some good individual performances as well as a tight team performance from pretty much everybody that's played. And Robin Amo has played a lot of people tonight. Yeah, and maybe that's going to be one of the best benefits for Hawaii is the fact that she was able to early in a match, not under a more stressful scenario, uh, get some under the game lights experience for some players that are lesser experienced overall. Here's Amber Igedi. She's got all the experience in the world, and it's showing 11 kills. Hitting over 500, and Hawaii getting right back to it here as we get going in set number three. Igedi leading the way for Hawaii offensively. Kaylin Alexander with eight kills. On the other side, it's Brecklin pulling, leading the way with five kills. Lang going outside, it's Wagner, had to change the approach a little bit and, and tried to cross the body on the swing and hit it into the net. Set it off the net a little bit there. Got away from Kate Lang a little bit. But notice why uh, Robin Amo choosing to go with her original lineup. And she'll ease the other B-side players in as she sees fit. And Grace Moss sends it into the net. Here's Wagner. Entered the match team high 13 aces on the season. Middle set, it's pulling. Forget about it. Amber Igedi shuts the door all by herself. Ruffin pulling took it. Had a great approach, took a good swing at it, but just too much Amber Igedi taking away that cutback. 
For Amber, that's block number three. Entered this match with 454 for her career. So continuing to close in on the milestone of 500 career blocks. Kendra Ham on the D set with the good looking swing, see Mac? Again, Kate Lang having the luxury now of having some back row players attack the ball. You had Kendra Ham there. Riley Wagner could have hit a pipe out of the back there. So uh, really, really a, a much more diverse offense than we saw at the beginning of the year. That's Dunning. Sydney Dunning is opting to put herself in position for some more playing time here because she has just been hammering the rock when it has come her way. That was the high hard one off the hands, the Triple H. Get that high hard one off the hands. The master I'll explain it to you later. The master of alliteration. <laughs> Here's Igidi off of one foot. What a play there by pulling, then a little joust above the tape. Alexander gonna wind up and uncoil. Swiping save by Moss. And one of the rare errors so far in her time in this match by Sydney Dunning. Just got through bragging about her. And then she gets <laughs> one in the net. Come on, Sydney. <laughs> it was in a tough position on that particular instance. But yeah, it was an awkward, it was an awkward set. Nonetheless, Hawaii up five serving two, and it's Igidi with the serve. Gonna pull Hawkins off the net. And uh, okay, she righted the ship right there, and boy, did she. Wow. That was one of the better swings by an outside hitter tonight. Yeah, she just exploded on that. Sydney Dunning going back to the bench. She's got four kills on six swings and 500. I, I, I bet she sees some more action here in this third set. That's for sure. Well, Edmonds going to take on the setting responsibilities. And the pump set to Alexander. She's stuffed. Brecklin pulling. Jumping up next to Nene Hawkins. I think pulling got most of it. Pretty good bump set by Edmonds out of the back row. I think pulling got most of it. Hawkins did a nice job of setting up that block, posting on it. Lang gonna go high and away, Alexander blocked. Cover there by Ham. Alexander a second time, that was a quick reload. And she was able to spring back into action. Alexander now with nine kills to go along with nine digs. Now they're gonna run the slide, that's pulling. Good punch up save there by Evans. Now Alexander with the pogo stick jump. Pulling again, blocked, but it's save over the net. Backside, Ham down the line. What a save by Moss, who ends up sending a free ball the other way. Alexander, that was a quick outside set off the block. Back row, here's Wagner, tickled the tape. We're still playing on this sequence. Outside, it's Dunning dug up. Dug up again. Then in the middle, pulling finally gets it down. Oh, oh, oh. Give a lot of credit to Grace Moss that time. For her, sticking out her left arm and making a great dig to keep that rally alive. There you see the Bakersfield parents in the stands loving that rally loving the fact that road runners won that rally and if you're the head coach giovanna mello you're loving the fight that she's seeing out of her road runners here so far in set three here's ham another save in that back row by martin ava palm hits it long did she get a touch no she didn't and it's a point for hawaii Ava Palm, who has been averaging a little over two and a half kills per set. So far being held for the most part in check. Four kills hitting 0-43 as Alexander sends it out. And what you will next take on CSUN. That's gonna be on Sunday. A reminder, that's gonna be an early start time. First serve is gonna be just after 4 p.m. And that's an out serve. That looked pretty good from our vantage point. I think it'll get challenged too. And Nene Hawkins 
with that high velocity jump serve. Her dad, Gino, in the crowd. And as well as a healthy amount of Hawkins supporters. And I don't think we're going to get a challenge. That looked awfully good, at least in real time. It was a pretty yeah. fast serve, so who knows? But no challenge in Hawaii will keep this thing going. That's Palm had to hang in the air for a moment. Now played back the other way. Kendra Ham right down Kalakaua Avenue. Kendra Ham improving her offense just as she planned. She had one good night of offense on the road. Three great nights of defense. She wants to put the whole package together tonight, is my opinion. Oh, the block was blanketing. I don't know if you noticed, but when that set died in the, in the, toward the middle of the court, Kendra Ham pushed over Amber Igedi just a little bit there, which allowed Amber to get, get both hands on that block. And see how she's given Kendra Ham some credit there. Five total team blocks in this match for Hawaii. Four for Amber Igedi individually. Edmonds on the serve. Oh, Hawkins has to chase down the set. Now a free ball coming over the net. Lang with options going backside. Ham! Oh, that had some authority behind it. You know what I like about that shot? She saw the block was taking her across court, so she went right down the line. There's a ham supporter. A ham slam. Is that a, is that a new one we're introducing here tonight? Or a ham bam. Okay. Or ham bam slam. <laughs> <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> Gidi with the save. Here's Wagner. That was interesting. You had Wagner who was basically following Igidi on the run-up. Exactly. Great improvisation there. Hawaii scored five straight. Timeout Bakersfield. At Kaiser Permanente. Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah, it is for our economy ultimate passengers who paid extra. I'll just have water. Okay, sure. Cash or card. For water? Well, at AT&T, when we offer you our best iPhone deals, we guarantee it. Even on the new iPhone 15 Pro, made with titanium. Not that you don't keep your word, it's just that you haven't. What? Only AT&T gives everyone our best deals on any iPhone with any popular phone. Guaranteed. Get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Welcome to the new open web, where combining both offline and online measurement is the new standard, so you can see the full impact of your media spend. Viant, built for the new open web. Built for now. Another double dose of Monday Night Football. On ABC, Hurts and the Eagles soar into Tampa Bay. On ESPN, the Rams face Burrow and the Bengals. Eagles Buccaneers at 7 on ABC. Rams Bengals at 8 on ESPN. Football's here, you know what that means. More flame grill beef from Burger King. Celebrate with us, cheer on your team. Y'all know this part, come on, let's sing. BK, have it your way. Welcome back. This is the seventh meeting between these two programs. Hawaii leading the all time series 6 0. Last meeting was last November, November 20th, 2022. Hawaii winning here at home in three. Right now they are up two sets to none and up 12-6 in the third. Good swing that time by Palm. They had a little extra sauce on it. And Alexander wasn't able to conjure up the save. So oh, Palm seems to like that right side as much as she does the left. She can hit from both sides. Remember, she was an opposite last year before basically making the transition to being the top outside hitter. High ball set to Wagner, cross court and in. Oh, she lit that one up. Molly getting off the 0 0 0 kill percentage number. This Florida State, he said she had 12 kills there, hit 257. Again, a double double with 10 digs. And there's Dunning. And did she hit it out? Yes, no touch up front. Hawaii has Bakersfield doubled up here in the third. 
largest lead of this third set for the Rainbow Wahine. Remember, they took set one 25 to 8. Bakersfield, give them credit, made it a much tougher fight in the second set. But right now in danger of Hawaii running away here in the third. Good dig there on the IGD swing. Hawkins going outside. It's Dunning, the tip shot, sniffed out by Ham. Middle set, IGD off the block and out. Notice IGD's route that time she took. And she was over for the dig. Then she had to re, 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 uh, reroute her path. Had very little jump. But her, watch her path here. She's out to block, then she goes the other direction, has one step, a gather, and a swing. Well, that's pretty amazing. I mean, you could just put an ISO camera on Amber IG. That would be pretty entertaining to watch. Just seeing her maneuvering around in that front row. Here's Wagner, and how about the assist? Add it to the stat line for Amber. Does it all. Four straight points for Hawaii and a timeout coming from Cal State Bakersfield. Wahine in control here in the third. Diving save, Jackie Matias, assist to AI. Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah, it is for our economy ultimate passengers who paid extra. I'll just have water. Okay, sure. Cash or card? For water? Well, at AT&T, when we offer you our best iPhone deals, we guarantee it. Even on the new iPhone 15 Pro, made with titanium. Not that you don't keep your word, it's just that you haven't. What? Only AT&T gives everyone our best deals on any iPhone with any popular plan. Guaranteed. Get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Welcome to the new open web, where emerging channels like CTV, digital audio, and in-game open doors to new customers, so creativity and commerce thrive. Viant, built for the new open web. Built for now. You fought for 162 games. He's in there! Now your shot at glory is hanging by a thread. He caught it! The moment is here. The MLB Wildcard Series on the networks of ESPN. Football's here, you know what that means. More flame grill beef from Burger King. Celebrate with us, cheer on your team. Y'all know this part, come on, let's sing. BK, have it your way. Welcome back again. This opening weekend in Big West play wraps up on Sunday for Hawaii. They'll host the CSUN Matadors. Early start time, so our coverage on Spectrum OC 16 will get going at 3.30 p.m. Oh, one-on-one -on -one stuff again for Amber. Well, Amber did a, made a great side adjustment there. Just noticed that the, was that Brecklin that was uh, hitting that one? That was Bertani uh, Matoyer. Matoyer, yeah, and she just made a nice adjustment at the last second. Took away that cross court. Outside, that's Dunning. And we're gonna have a net violation. Gonna go against Hawaii. Amber IG. Of all people. She can take the cape off now, I guess, huh? <laughs> By the way, attendance numbers. Tickets issued 5,652 through the turnstile, 4,496. Way out of system here. May have been an out ball play by Alexander, and then Hawkes is blocked, but it goes out. That looked like an overrule there by the R1 Randy Rubinall. I think the line judge may have pointed that that one landed in off the block, but Rubinall overruling it. And now Stella Damey will check back into the match. That's awfully close, but you see the line judge with the in signal. Yep. And in fact, I'm not sure if word got back to Giovanna Mello on what the replay looked like, but she now has issued a challenge for that last one, and she may have a beef. These should be pretty easy to call. For the most part, the line calls are way easier than the touch calls. Yeah, it looks like you caught a piece of the line there. Yeah. What say it, you, see, Mac? might have. That's a tough one. We like the zoom in there. <laughs> we are. Like the zoom in. We are getting very high tech around here now. Yeah, I think I think that's out. I don't. I don't think it caught any part of the line. Hmm. I think Kevin Chun got that one right. 
But he was overruled by the R1. Well, Rubinoff. Well, Rubinoff ruled it out. Right. Oh, he, yeah. All right, we'll see. It looks like that's going to stay. Michelle Hayes. These R2s, they, uh, they earned their keep. <laughs> So a successful challenge there by Mello. And so it will be instead of 18 serving eight, nine serving 17 here in set three. You know, the man and official used to go up before we had replays. They would go up and the R2 would be a local person. Now the local person goes up and the man and person Goes all the does all the replay. All right, set by Matias was off the mark. And Hawkes wasn't able to chase it down. So a couple of consecutive points here for Bakersfield. 10 serving 17. Nice Moss having a great night tonight. 13 digs so far. Leading everybody. And how about an ace added to her stat line? Grace Moss, who Giovanna Mello actually compares to Nene Hawkins, says they're very similar in terms of their work ethic as true freshmen, the energy that they bring to the program, uh, even similar from a family perspective. Exactly, both from military families where there obviously probably is a lot of discipline going on around the household. Is that fair to say? <laughs> <laughs> that explains the work ethic, I'm sure, right? right there you go. trying to stay in the mix here in this third set despite at the moment in set three hitting negative 050 I want you hitting 261 but this is not an insurmountable deficit that the runners are staring at especially if Grace Moss gets on a run here with her serve it's really tough serve she hits it hard it's got a lot of movement and arrives to the passers in a hurry she has possibly been the toughest server so far tonight for Cal State Bakersfield. Yeah, I would agree. You know, some of the numbers being updated. Amber Igidi, 12 kills, 478 hitting percentage, has a handful of blocks. Caitlin Alexander still sitting on nine kills, nine digs. One away in each of those categories from a sixth straight double-double. Riley Wagner right after that with five kills. Kendra Ham with four kills and no errors. Paula Gershing, three kills and no errors. Kennedy Evans, three kills and no errors. Why hitting, as you said earlier, hitting 260 to negative 050 for the Roadrunners. That's a big difference. So out of the timeout, it's Moss. Pass handled by Edmonds that time. Back set Wagner, and she hits it out. That's five straight points here by Bakersfield. And the complexion of this thing has changed in a hurry. Matias has to chase it down. Hawkins got it at the last moment, so a free ball coming over the net. Big advantage for the runners now. Backside, the tip shot by Bakta is kept alive. Back row, it's a Damey. Dug up by Palm. Middle set, pulling, got it down. And Bakersfield within four. Great swing by Pauling, hitting that deep corner, area one. Almost hit the sideline and the back line. Simultaneously, great shot. Well, what you led by 10, seemingly just moments ago. 6-0 scoring run here for the Roadrunners. Oh, and that nearly caught that end line. Missed by a hair. Oh, what you able to dodge a BB on that one for sure. 
What a run, though, by Grace Moss. Almost single-handedly bringing her team back into this contest. Yeah, the Roadrunners have been running, trying to get back into this third set. But now they're scrambling a little bit. Good bump set there just to center things. Hawaii on the attack. IGD in the middle. That one crawls over the net. So Hawkins goes to the middle. It's pulling. Got it down. Had to hang for a moment. But at the last second, she was able to record her eighth kill to lead the Roadrunners. Brooklyn Pony has been doing some really, really nice things. Been, uh, having to go eyeball to eyeball against an All-American pretty much on every shot. And she's uh, more than holding her own. Hertel Tova with the serve. Wagner from the back row dug up over the net. Hawaii's going to have to play it. Matias goes middle to Igidi, pinballed around. And a free ball coming over at the last moment. Hertel Tova able to keep it going. Here's Hakas dug up over the net. Adami couldn't get it down. And a net violation is the way that sequence is finally going to come to a close. It goes against Bakersfield, Hawaii gets the point. That one felt like it was gonna go forever. And ironically, a net violation is the way it goes down and it's Hawkins you saw coming into the twine. But give this Bakersfield team credit, C-Mac. Putting up a fight after getting routed in the first set, 25 to eight. What a dig by Igidi. Run the slide, it's pulling, dug up by Wagner. Matias going right side, Hawkes. Oh, it got blocked back over. Bump set, a Damey through the block, rattled around and returned, but hit long by Ava Pong. Some scrappy defense on both sides of the net. I really thought that last ball on Bakersfield's side was going to go down, but they somehow kept it alive right there. And then just a little bit long by Palm. So how about now three kills for Stella Adami? As that serve goes wide. We mentioned Hawaii took the first set 25 to 8. That's actually the most lopsided set win for the Rainbow Wahine since they beat UC Davis back in October of 2021, 25-7 in the second set. And what was a sweep over the Aggies? And yet, here's Bakersfield, down by five. This thing is not Powell yet by any stretch. Evans, slowed down by pulling. Now pulling on the slide. She was pulling on that one. She was a get pulling that rally. She slowed it down with her block, and then a nice step out maneuver. Drops down. She's having some kind of night. Ramp, ramping it up. Psychology major hopes to go into marriage and family counseling. And she has been keeping things together for sure on the Bakersfield side as best as possible. Meanwhile, Stella Adami at it again. Four kills, no errors. How you like number one here tonight? <laughs> she's got to be happy. She has, she's been sitting around all year long, patiently waiting for her turn. <laughs> and tonight, She's more than taking advantage of her turn tonight. I think she's impressing her head coach, Robin Almome, to look back towards the bench like, okay, I see you, Stella. And an ace by Kate Lang. And now we're going to see for the first time, at least in this building, Jason Bamis, 6'1", redshirt sophomore from Spokane, a transfer from Clemson. This is her third set officially here on her ledger. 15 starts last year for Clemson at middle blocker after redshirting in 2021. And that one was fire off of the palm of Ava Palm. Once again, solid swing by Ava Palm. Most of the night though, she's been facing two blockers over there waiting for her block, knowing that a lot of sets are gonna go to Ava Palm. Pulling into the time there. So 23 serving 17. Now you would love to see a set going towards Bamis here. She does have one kill already recorded. Paula Gershing on the floor replacing Wagner. I guarantee if it's a free ball pass, Bamis is going to get it. She's got an arm. Talking about Jason Bamis. 
Outside. Oh, and that was just destroyed. Ava Palm with some angst behind it. Almost like an angry hit. Where'd that come from? Split block there. She took advantage of it, that's for sure. Great swing by Ava. So here's Nene Hawkins. The Le Jardin alum with the jump serve into the twine, and it's a little ball for Hawaii for the match. They will rise a little over 4,400. And Talia Edmonds to put Hawaii in the win column here in the opening night of Big West play. Floats it to the deep corner and wide. So they will remain standing, at least for another moment. I think Talia wanted to play a little bit longer. It's been too short a night for her. <laughs> Ava Palm getting ready to serve. It remains Aloha Ball. Under IGD back on the floor for Hawaii. And that's an out serve. And that's how this thing comes to an end. Hawaii takes it. 2023 Big West opener. Ekahi Elua Aloha against Cal State Bakersfield. 25, 8, 20, and 19 to improve to 8 and 4 overall and 1 and 0 in the Big West Conference. Roadrunners fall to 5 and 9 and an even 1 and 1 here in this opening week of the league play. Bank of Hawaii presents the players of the match. Let's check it out. For Cal State Bakersfield, Brecklin pulling. Boy, was she tough tonight. Nine kills hit 208, a couple of blocks, a couple of digs, a service ace really led the way for Bakersfield just to put up a fight in those last two sets. And for Hawaii, Kaylin Alexander, the double double streak comes to an end, but she got awfully close. Nine kills, nine digs hit 261 with two blocks and a service ace. Amber IGD, 12 kills hit 440 with five digs and five blocks should also be acknowledged. Yeah, and how about the way Hawaii played efficiently tonight? Hit 323, only nine hitting errors all night long, and they held their opponents to 094. That's playing some good offense and playing some pretty good defense as well. All right, well, Robin Amo is with Scott Robbs. Take it away, Scott. Hey, thanks a lot, Kano. First off, Coach, it's nice not to see you rubbing your temples after a match. How do you feel? I did. I feel good. They did good. You know, we, we had to, we told them in there, like, just go out and do your job. Make sure you're disciplined at what you're doing from passing, setting, serving. I think our blocking a uh, little bit timing-wise, but I thought they did good. You told us yesterday that you were going to use a lot of players tonight. You wanted to see different matchups, different lineups. How do you think overall they did? Hey, I think it's all C-Mac. C-Mac, I told him what you told me. I told him, I said, hey, you're starters. You guys got to go out. You got to play hard so we can get everybody in, and they did. All right, congratulations. We'll see you Sunday. Thank you. Come by. All right, guys. <laughs> Come by a little earlier. Remember, first serve just after four. Uh, we will go on the air with our coverage on Spectrum OC 16 uh, at 3.30. So uh, we look forward to that. But a successful opening night in the Big West uh, for the Rainbow Wahine and some quality playing time for some of the lesser experienced members of this roster. C-Mac, I'll uh, give you the final word here. So Robin got... 12 players in tonight and at significant times not just in in mop-up time but they, they got the significant time that was uh, meaningful and i thought they all answered the call pretty much from from uh, gershing to Adami uh, to you know all pretty much all of them. kendra ham i thought really was one of the highlights of the night for me because she turned around her her uh, inconsistent offensive performance last week into a very solid offensive performance tonight. Four kills, no errors, hitting 444 um, to go along with uh, five digs. But, you know, her defense, you know, you can't say much about it. She, she always gets in double figures usually. If she played more tonight, she probably would have gotten in double figures. 
But uh, that was really fun to watch. And it's always fun watching AI, isn't it? Yeah, she absolutely. puts on a show. Every, she's worth the price of admission just by herself. And shout out to Stella Damey. Congratulations. First career kill. And then she yep. added three more. Four kills on five swings. No errors. Not too bad for your first official taste of college volleyball. That'll do it for us. Don't forget about the post-game show. But for now, for CMAC, I'm Fennel Alehi. Maui, we love you. Until next time, we bid you aloha from Manor. Domino's Hawaii is proud to support high school. Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah, it is for our economy ultimate passengers who paid extra. I'll just have water. Okay, sure. Cash or card. For water? Well, at AT&T, when we offer you our best iPhone deals, we guarantee it. Even on the new iPhone 15 Pro, made with titanium. Not that you don't keep your word, it's just that you haven't. What? Only AT&T gives everyone our best deals on any iPhone with any popular phone. Guaranteed. Get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Welcome to the new open web, where combining both offline and online measurement is the new standard, so you can see the full impact of your media spend. Viant. Built for the new open web. Built for now. Barkley for the Ruffles. Charles, it's barbecue time. Nah, Chuck's always been a little twisted. Everybody knows you love cheese, old man. So here's six. Oh! Woo! No! <laughs> Ruffles, choose the flavor that speaks to you. Football's here, you know what that means. More flame grill beef from Burger King. Celebrate with us, cheer on your team. Y'all know this part, come on, let's sing. BK, have it your way. We don't just have everything. We have your thing. On the next big thing. Ready? Go. It's a special moment. We work hard to get to this moment right now. Let's get a throw and pop. Touchdown. Girani hamariya kya se? Girani hamariya kya se? Yeah.